say we're up to page you tests on the left column, Chuma Salechem. We began this on Yom Chamishi and we said that there are four minim, each one has ten lechamim of Lachmi Toda that accompany the carbon Toda. And from each one of these minim, one full loaf has to be given and dedicated to the coin. And this is based on the Pasuk, if you recall, the Kriv Mi Menu Echad Mikol Karban Chuma Slashem, Chuma Lashem. And we saw that in the Pasuk, and the Pasuk continues and says, La Kohena Zorekas Dama Shlomim Lo Yir. And that Lechem, one representative of each of the four medium, has to be earmarked for the Kohen who does the Zrika Saddam. There's a mitzvah of tnufa that applies together with the chaz of the shok because the carbon toda basically has a status of a carbon shlamin, which means that the chaz of the shok go, are dedicated to the coin. And there's a mitzvah of tnufa in the chaz of the shok. And now we add to the chaz of the shok of the zevach itself and the carbon toda the lachme told her, at least one lechem of each of the four minim, and that's included in the tzvufa of the chaz of the show. Rava vacillates back and forth in the Gemara and Daf Ayin Zion with regard to the status of the truma that the Torah requires that we give to the Kohen one lechem from each of the four minim. Does that lechem have the status of truma? in all its dinim, all its ramifications, which means, number one, that if a czar were to eat that lechem, the mezid, he's chayv misa b'deshamayim, if he does it b'shoge, then he pays the kohen, not just the value of the lechem, but he has to add a penalty of another 20% called a chomesh. Or, says Rabbi, maybe not. Maybe the Torah has a parish of Truma's Dagon, which means when you're taking Truma from the five, any of the five species of grains, that's full-fledged Truma, and the parish of Truma generates a locha of a chiyabisus bezdin in the case of a czar, or Karen Vachomish in the case of a shkaga of a czar, but that doesn't apply to the lechem that's given from each of the four minim in the Lachme Toda, those do not have the full-fledged status of Truma. Rava adds another suffix. He wants to know if there's a din of Dmai with regard to this Truma. Now, what that means is that if Truma gets mixed up in a Tarovis with Chulin, then there's no din of Rav. It's only bottle in one in a hundred. You need 101 versus 1 in the Tarovas. Does that Chumra that applies to Truma apply to the Truma of Lachme Toda as well? What is the status of Lachme Toda? From the fact that the Torah says, we derive the conclusion that this Lechem has to be Mimenu. It's attached to something, what we call Mechuba. But the Gemara doesn't spell out exactly what it's attached to or how this chibur is created. I mean, you talk about a loaf of bread that comes out of the oven. So what is it connected to? We go through two shitas, and that's Rashi and Tosas. Rashi shita is that you need that all of the 10 loaves of bread of that particular min be connected. What does that mean, connected? one of the ten you're going to give us Truma to the Kohen, they are all in one Kli. And that's what we call Tziruf Kli. The Kli itself, that Kli Shores, now integrates all that's in the Kli Shores at the same time into one entity. And that be means that there's a Chibur. So when you take out one of the Lechamin from the Kli, which has now ten Lechamin, and you take out one of the ten, you're virtually taking it out of a chibur. You're breaking a chibur because it's connected to the other nine lechamim insofar as they're all in one clue. 
Tosis, on the other hand, says no. You don't need that all ten lechamim be in one kli in order to be mekayim the mitzvah of truma. What you do need is, and that's a more bare minimum, is the requirement of mukafin. Mukafin means that they could all all the lechamim might be on on top of a table, let's say, but there's no seer of kli. They're not inside a kli. A kli has Lion, what's that called in English? The sides of a clue. You know what I mean? So it's the bottom of the clue, and then it's the sides of the clue. That's a receptacle. Says says um, Tosis, you don't require that they be all in one clue, such that there's a shulayim that surrounds all these ten lechamim. All you need is that the ten lechamim. Be no gim They have to be in contact one with the other. But they don't have to necessarily be in one clip. And this is derived from the puzzle that we mentioned earlier. It says, Hikrib be menu echad. And we're going to interpret the word echad that it means shalom. Echad means one complete whole. So the truma requires that you take one loaf of bread that hasn't been sliced and you transmit it, you give it as a gift to the coin. But then the Pasuk says, Mikol Karma. And that's going to teach me, Shaloyito Truma Mimin Echad Al Chaveru. Mikol Karma means from each one of these species of a karma, meaning the ten lechamim that are avucha, for example, they form one karma. You cannot take one revucha and use it for the other min. Let's say for chaluta b'mayim, whatever it might be. Or mishuchim b'shem, or kikim ashukim whatever the four categories are. There's another halacha here called Shavin Bitrumazu. I'm not sure if we know what that means. Maybe we'll open up the Gemara Menachos, which is here on the desk. You want to do that for me, Steve, if you don't mind? Open up to Daf Ein Zayin Amit Beis And see if you can isolate the words kol karbonos halechem shavim bitruma. Like that Gemara has both Menachos and Zvachim in it? One volume? All right, you know what? Maybe we won't. What? Oh, it's, it's what is it? A, uh... Oh, I see. It's only Chelik Al. <laughs> so for that, you need a regular Gemara Menachos. Okay, good that you pointed this out to me. All right, let's go on. Kiddush Lechem. Right now, the Lechem in Toda is the accompaniment, and it's secondary to the Zeva, to the Toda itself. What happens is that when you shech the carbon toda, the shechita engenders what's called kedusha saguf in the lechem. Correct? So this concept of accompanying the zevach means that there's sort of like a one entity where you know the shechita of one triggers off and impacts on the other. So the shechita of the carbon toda now triggers off a kiddush of the lechem. But however, we need that the lechem at the time of the tree to be royal kiddush. And that means that the lechem has to be inside the chomas hazor. If the lechem happens to be outside of the azor at the time of the shechita, then the shechita of the zemach cannot impact and be makadesh the lechem. 
because the lechem is outside of the bounds of the azar. And here we have my focus between Rabbi Yochan and Reish Lakish. According to Reish Lakish, we'll start with the easier sheet, even though here he presents Rabbi Yochan at first. Reish Lakish says that when we talk about chutz lechoma, it means outside the choma of the azar. And the reason for that is because with regard to Kachim, we need that the Kachim be within the Azar. And Reish Lakish invokes a puzzle that says, Al chalos lechem chames yakriv karbano. And the word al means besomach. And this is the Shita Reish Lakish. I think we had it in Sochem as well. That whenever the Torah used the word al, it means besom, some meaning that they're both proximate one to the other. So the makam shchit of the Toledo, the zevach itself, is in the Azara. If you were to shech it outside the Azara, that's called shchut echutz, and there's no carbon that can be that you can be that you get can be shechted outside the Azara, except during heter bonos. And when the Torah says al chalos alechem. It means that the chalos lechem should be al besamach to the karma. It means that the shkita of the karma takes place in the azara, and the lechem, the chalos, have to be in the azara so that we fulfill the requirement of al besamach. Rabbi Yochan rejects the halacha, the principle of al besamach, and therefore, according to Rabbi Yochanan, when the Mishnah says that the lechem chutz lechoma is not subject to the kibbutz of chitas hazevach, it means chutz lechoma of base pagi, which is basically the choma of Yusha, of the harabayas. And now what happens is, according to Rabbi Yochanan, if the lechem is anywhere within the harabayas, then the kibbutz of the shkita of the zevach and the azara will trigger off and create a kiddush on the lechem that's outside the azara, as long as it's within the harabites. But you know the halach of harabites here is very, very strange, very odd in the because we're talking about. We're talking about kachim kalim. Now, kachim kalim can be eaten anywhere in Yerushalayim. And if you'll take a look here in footnote number Shin Mem Beis, which is three, one, three before the end of the page, he quotes Rabbi Gershon, who was before Rash. Rabbi Gershon says that according to Rabbi Yochanan, under what circumstances is the Shkitas Hazavach the Azorah ineffective and incapable of being Makadesh, the Lechem, which is Kutz Lechoma? It's when it's outside the Choma of the entire city of Yushalayim. And that's where Base Pagi was located. But if the Choma are any, if the Lechem, excuse me, are anywhere inside the bounds of Yushalayim, in a place where the lechem could be eaten by Zichre Kuhuna, which means we're talking about, we're talking about Kachim Kalim. So therefore, there is a Kiddush as long as the, as long as the lechem is in Yerushalayim, within the city of Yerushalayim. If on the other hand, the lechem is outside of Yerushalayim, then there's no Kiddush. That's the way Rabbi Gershon understands Rabbi Yochanan, and that's really intuitive. However, according to Rashi himself, the Lechem, it's not enough that it's located in the city of Yushalayim, it's got to be located in the Chomas Harabites. It's, with, it's within the Harabites. Very difficult to understand what the role of Harabayas is. I mean, Harabayas has 
a sanctity which is relevant to Tuma, what we call Shiluach Mina Machne. But why should it be relevant to Kachim Kachim Kalim Mimanafshal? You know, if you're talking about the Shkita, the Shkita is done in the Azar. We're talking about Lachamim, and there's no Shkita in Lachamim. Ella, what? You're talking about Achila. If you talk about Achila, that's in, throughout the entire city. Why should Harabais play a critical role? So if I can ask you to mute your, your microphone, that would, be, that would be helpful. I tried to do it here, but it didn't work. Okay. Now here's another question. What happens if you shek the zeva, the toda, and there is no lechem, what do you have? You have a dough. You've added water to solace in order to bake, bake the bread, but you haven't yet placed the dough into the oven yet. So, we, we, you know, it's futuristic to talk about bread. If at the moment of shechita, of the zevach, the shechita, the zevach has to impact and be makadish the lechem, you've got to have the lechem. Well, what does it mean to have the lechem? Okay, you put the dough now in stage number two into the oven. You have to wait until the dough completely bakes. So the answer is you need what's called krimas panim bitan. When the upper level, the surface level of the dough has a crust to it. And then it's called lechem. Such that now if you shech the zeva, the carbon toda will be makadesh, the lechem. Why do you have lechem? Because you reach the stage, the shear of krimas pas bitan. I'll give you an example. In the mitzvah on leila pesati matzah, you need that the dough that was placed into the oven baked to at least the minimum of krimas pas bitan. Less than that, it's not matzah. It's not lechem. Now, what happens in the case where he's got nine lechamim that have already reached the stage of krimas pas He's got one lechem that has not yet reached that stage, and he went and he shechted the toda. So the locha is that the toda is not makadesh any of the lechamim. It's ten or bust. Not one of the Lechamim will become sanctified. And by the way, this would be relevant. Let's say he has nine Lechamim and a ten inside the Azar. He's got one that's outside the Arabites or outside Yerushalayim. Even the ten, even the nine out of ten, that are here in the Azor would not be miscarriage because we need a kiddush of the entire series of ten lechem. We don't need that it be baked completely. means a partial baking or cooking. Kasha how do I know if we have reached the minimum stage of baking called lecha? When is it lecha? We call it krimas pas. There's a crust on top of the dough. How do you know that that's considered lecha? You have to do an experiment. You have to break it and see what happens. If you get strings of dough, then it's not baked. It's got to reach the stage where when you break it, you get a complete break. Again, you're not going to break it, but I'm saying theoretically, if you would break it, it's baked enough that instead of having strings of dough that are hanging down, you've got a real breakage. That durability or hardness is indicative of the fact that you've reached the stage of primas paspitanur, you have a lechem, and if you shech the zevach, it's makadish the lechem. Now we're about to embark upon a very fascinating sugya in Lachmi Torah. 
Let me try to give a little bit of an introduction. We said that the shechita hazevach is makadesh the lecha. What constitutes shechita? I don't mean in the laws of shechita. I mean in the laws of kach. He definitely shechted two simon in place. But he shechted them in a way that the toda itself would not be kosher. Can we separate, meaning, can we bifurcate? The shechita has to achieve two goals. Number one, it's the first of four avodos for the zevach of Todo. And number two, it's makadesh the lech. Can we separate between these two? Can we set up a shechita that will impact and be makadesh the lech, but it is not a valid shechita as far as the zevach is concerned? Intuitively, we would have said, well, if it's not a shkita for the zevach, then it cannot be a shkita that would generate a kiddush for the lechem. But to our surprise, we're going to talk about a case of machshavah's people. So the Kohen, at the time that he did the shkita, he had a machshavah of chutzl's man or chutzl's kohen. And now the question is, if the carbon is possible, What's the status of the lechem? Did the shkita at least register on the Richter scale high enough so that now it's Makadesh that achieves the Kiddush Now let's differentiate between these two categories of Machshavah's people. We have a Machshavah of Chutzl's Mano and a Machshavah of Chutzl's Koma. The real McCoy full-fledged people is Chutzl's Mano. Chutzl's Koma is a secondary people. For example, if you were to eat from the basar of, of a machsheves people of chutzl's mano, you get curries for that. If on the other hand, you eat from a karma where the kohen's machsheves was chutzl's como, that's not a cool. Again, it's pigel, but it's not a full-fledged pigel. It does not generate a chi of curries. Shafer es very unique to karma toga. You know, if it was up to me, they would have been a Masechta called Masechta Toga. The Machsheves Pigel, Lizrok is Doma, Chutz Lizmano, Chutz Lizkomo, Miskadesh Alech. Um, Mispagel Yachin Matoga. It will be Kiddush Alech. And he's talking about even a Machsheva of Chutz Lizmano, which is full fledged Pigel with a Chiv Karis. And somehow that shrita with a machshav of chutz's man, machshav is people, will impact on the lechem and be makadish the lechem. My nafkimino doesn't mean I can eat the lechem. It means that they have a lechem as a kiduj, such that now it can become possible. And you guessed it, it will become possible within people. So you and I would have said, well, the shrita doesn't register at all. How can the shkita be makadish the lechem? If the shkita is psula, it's a machsheves pigel. But the answer is no. We're going to see the lechem as if it were an extension of the toda itself. And whatever the shkita impacts on the toda, it will have the same impact on the lechem. Except it's a fundamental difference between the two. In the case of the zemach itself, it already has a kid. The machsheves pigel only effectuates a psul and a shame pigel. In the case of the lechem, the lechem hasn't yet achieved the kibbutz, and paradoxically, the shechita l'shem chutz l'zmano, which is a shechita with the machshevus pigel, will sanctify the lechem, and now the lechem itself is pigel. Now we have the case of a different machshevus psul, and that's the lo l'shem bailu. Or Shili Kodesh. Avol in Nishkata told us Not that he had in mind for the sake of a carbon told him, but we'll eat the bossa of this carbon chutzus, mana chutz and coma. But rather he had in mind what's called a shalolishma. Let's take the most extreme case of shalolishma. He had in mind the shame 
Shlomim, or maybe that's not the extreme case, L'Shem Ola. Is Ein Alecha Miskadish. I think what's going on here is that Shalolish Shmah, the carbon is possible. No, no, no. Can't say that. But the mission says the beginning of small film at low all the bile of the shame hope. Oh, I know. We're going to differentiate between two categories of Shalolishma. Shalolishma means Lashem Zebach Acher, that's a Shinui Kodesh. Or Shalolishma means not for the sake of the Bible. So if, it's, if he shefts at Shalolishma for, let's say, Shimon instead of for Ruvain, then the carbon is kosher, just that Ruvain is going to have to replace it with another carbon. But if the, the, the Machsheva Sat, Coin at the time of the Shechita was the full fledged Shalosh with the Shini Kodesh, then that Shechita doesn't register at all. And it cannot be Makadesh, the Lechem. Now let's talk about another case. This is all so fast. He shechted a carbon toda, the Shema. Everything looked fine. He didn't have machshav chutzim zman or chutzim komishal or lishma. Everything checked out, except for the animal. The animal turns out to be a trefer. Next day, he's had told the trefer the achashli tosa. After the shkita, they checked the innards of the animal and they found, you know, a gigantic wound, you know, a needle this size, you know, in one of its vital organs. That's a trefer. Did the Shechita register at least to generate a Kiddush of the Lechem? And the answer is Lois Kaddish al Again, we did a perfectly good Shechita with all the right Machshokas. Little did we know that this is a trefer. If it's a trefer, the Shechita is not a Shechita's Kach. It has no bearing to Kach. Completely disqualified. And the nafkabina is that even the lechamim are not sanctified. You say balas mum over. Oh, now we get into a whole other suit. This, I think, maybe we should leave for tomorrow. We have a machlokis, Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Lozor, about a case. Where the animal turned out to be a balas moon. Now, let's just make the following statement and then we'll go on because we have a new project we want to start. To. If you're talking about a moon kavua, then the shrit is completely meaningless. It doesn't register at all. No less than the case we had of a trefer which is not a valid shkita to be Makadish the lechem, the lachmi toda. So that would be, the case of trefer would be comparable to the case of a mum kavua, but now we're talking about a mum over. So the blemish is only temporary. And it's not a full-fledged soul such that the shechita is meaningless. The shechita will be meaningful as far as Kiddush HaLechem is concerned. That's going to be, and we'll have to obviously find two men. We need it tomorrow. Okay, so let's just make a note. Here we go.